Welcome, and thank you for joining for another whiskey review. Today, we're taking a little look at a Buna Habit hand filled bottle, Dustin. I'm a little traumatized, Mike. If you uh, tuned into the Moscatel one, it was not a fun experience for us. For me, that's the taste for me to buy or even to edit that video, Dustin. Hopefully, it probably wasn't fun for you to watch. But here we are again. This time, once again, going back to warehouse number nine, this time a 12 year old PX butt, Dustin. 12 year old PX <clears throat> Buna Habit. I like the booty. Yep. May 16th, 2019. Oh, okay. That's an older one. Colin Stroud. I don't know who that is, but it's not the same person who bottled the Moscatel. Hey, there's color on this one. Oh, buddy. All right. So, if you didn't see the last video, basically, these are handful of bottles at the distillery. This isn't a, an official release or anything, but uh, people go, can go to the distillery, get a bottle, have casts. I think they do. We saw some of these in full bottles and some in the little ones, so if you have an option. Yep. You can do it a couple different ways, I suppose. Um, again, this one just 12 years old. The ABV on it is 60.4%. Huge, huge ABV. Ooh. This is one of our 20 CL bottles. That color is <clears throat> beautiful there, Mike. Dustin, wow. Boone have an Isle of Story, unpeated. Um, whiskey Discovery, we've always been fans of. Let's see if a PX version of it is any better. This smells incredible. This is rich, sticky, big old PX. That said, Bunahaven has been somewhat hidden here. Um, your typical, this is your um, quintessential sherry bomb. Yes. Young, heavy, dark, dare I say chalky sherry. Chalky, yes, and Buna does have a bit of chalkiness. I think if you remember our 2023 Buna 12 cast strength, it was a little chalky, mm -hmm. unlike the 2022, which was a much you know more rich... It's still a dry whiskey. Buna is a dry, you know, malt. Buddy, I am picking this is up juicy. Yeah, I'm picking up sweet sherry and and um, salty nut. 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 Just generic nut, huh? Not can't really pick it up. It's so the sherry notes so over the top right now. There is a slight nuttiness to it. I just can't get to it. Other than just a little bit of salt to it. There is. Um, just nut. You're right. <clears throat> a walnut? I don't know. So, <laughs> <laughs> undistinct nut. I was like, are we getting, we got any kind of nut in here? Yeah, buddy, this PX is a, is a heavy, heavy overcoat. This is beautiful PX. And, you know, I, we said it's a nice color, but, you know, it's not super dark, which, you know, is kind of telling me that it's not overpowering. Um, <clears throat> it's too much. Dark, Justin. Oh, it's dark, but, like, it's it's not getting black. You know, it's not Kavalon. It's, it's not coffee, but. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nice... It's, and it's a butt, you know. Usually butts are a little bit lighter because you have less oak contact. Mm -hmm. Twelve years is actually a pretty good age statement for us, you know, sherry bomb. Man, dark chocolate setting in now. Dark chocolate. A little bit of um, a little bit of spice in that chocolate yeah. as well. A green spice, weirdly enough. There's something spicy, but also sort of green. Ooh, sea salt caramels. I can definitely see something in that realm, yeah. Um, very, again, very drying and chalky, though. Uh, which is weird because the PX is super juicy and fruity, but then the Buna Malt brings that uh, contrast, and I kind of like it. Kind of digging it. I agree with everything you said about about the sherry cast maturation, Ooh. but it's also super sticky, which is something you always get with mm -hmm. PX, but the sticky chalkiness of it just... Yeah, it's a weird... Yeah, the contrast it is going is. back and it forth. It is. It's just so strong. Like the cast maturation is so much of this experience. Yeah, it's just it's such a generic, candied, <clears throat> non-descriptive kind of a sweet level here. You know, the PX. I mean, it's obviously PX, but the Boone is really creating this strange, like sterile environment with the PX trying to like fight it, and they're just kind of. It's an interesting combination. I, I don't know if I really like it or I kind of, or I just kind of like it. It's, it's definitely a positive combination. There is a separation between them, like oil and water. I mean, there is a distinct, mm -hmm. you know, you get that little boon having slight, slight nuttiness. I, I, again, I do a nut. It's, I know it. It's just, it's hard for me to really place mm -hmm. it. It's something that's not overly salty, though, and that's something that's overly high on the flavor spectrum. Maybe just a slight cashew, like an unsalted cashew meets heavy PX wine cask. All right. It's a Brazil nut. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I've had that. I only know Brazil nuts because it's like one of those, like it's a big giant nut that comes in like the mixed nut stuff. Okay. And it really doesn't have a descriptive flavor. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. My moist, you know, in, in the mixed nuts. Like yeah, 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 yeah. And so like it doesn't really, it, it has its own thing, yes, but it's a very light, subtle nuttiness. 
that's what this is. It's just a light, subtle nuttiness. Now that I'm tasting it, yeah. It's Brazil nuts meets... Um, if you haven't had Brazil nuts, uh, think of walnuts with less flavor, essentially. <laughs> is that one with a little bit of like brown on the on the outside of it? A little bit sometimes, yeah, yeah. 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 But it's like, I mean, they're big. Yeah, yeah, they're like... Yeah. like, oh, like yeah, yeah. Like tear shaped. Yes. Yes. Um, the Buna, um, sorry, the, the PX up front, nice and sweet. The Buna's nuttiness is here. I gotta say, um, I don't know that I really love uh, cast strength Buna sometimes from these types of things because 60% is probably a little high. Put a little bit of water in here, but I, I'm digging this one. This one's actually kind of fun. It's its own little uh, play on what we're used to with Buna. This is still getting, kind of reminding me more of that 2023 20, Buna 12 where it's a quality whiskey, but it's not hitting all of the, it's not hitting everything I like about Buna. I'm actually going to go kind of heavy on the water. Boy, that's steam. <laughs> There's a bunch of alcohol in that. So with though, it, uh, it's drinking a lot lower than the uh, Moscatel, which hurt to drink. Rich chocolate. Ooh. God, that is a good cask. Creamy chocolate. Meets <clears throat> creamy chocolate almost meets a lighter milk chocolate that's that's um, dried like a powdered chocolate. I guess powdered Nes Nesquik meets mm. a creamy milk chocolate. Sticky purple comes in kind of at the end. Super aggressive, super heavy, oh. blunt flavors. Like these aren't sharp flavors; these are blunt flavors. Chocolate milk chocolate, heavy PX cask. Wispin, Wispin nut. Not a ton going on here. That's what Warren's? No, you haven't yet. I just did, and oh my god, Mike. My score just went up like three points. I was going to say, I bet I bet this handles water well. Oh my goodness. All right. <clears throat> so that nuttiness, that was kind of leading to a little bit of chalky, kind of... I am, uh, dusty. Dusty. I, yeah, chocolate. dusty. It was, not enough, it was not a fun finish um, on the... It's now beautiful. PX is coming through. Now it's got like milk chocolate, caramel drizzled on it. Coming through, it still has a little bit of that um, boon and nuttiness, but now maybe it's more of an almond or something, um, smoked almond or something like that. But that PX just got even sweeter, got stickier, got more ooey gooey, and man, I am loving what it did on the nose and the palate here, Mike. It's just, it did it both. It just got sweeter, more decadent, more dessert. And the slightly youthful Buna note has come down. And I've noticed, even with the 12 castings, we've really felt water helped. Same thing here. It's really helping a ton. I'm going to put even more water in. <clears throat> it became That's fudge. It. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. This, Brownie fudge cake. Oh, this is a fun whiskey, man. It was so dense. 60% PX mm -hmm. cat. It was so, so... This is the first one. doesn't say, but it's got to be, like... That, that color, this intensity, it's unless they put some, you know they finished a cask for two years or something crazy and then they put this in. Man, why really enhanced the nose on this? Really enhanced the nose. Yeah. Before where it was just all that chalky nonsense and a little bit of chocolates, now it's just beautiful fudge. It's not getting a good haze, but there is a touch of haze coming through now with water too. So it is uh, the water's helping as far as giving it that classic Buna mist. And Boone is good with misting. Man. Mm hmm. That's such a rich fudge note. De it's, yeah, decadent fudge, almost like Dutch chocolate now. But it still has a really nice red fruit. It's almost like if someone. Candied. If you brought home like a frosty from Wendy's and you mm -hmm. put it in the freezer and it was frozen. Like at first when we were trying to take a knee, it was like trying to chew a, <laughs> like a frozen frosty. But now it's had time to just, mm. you know, soften up and revert back to what its natural state is. Frosty's actually a good chocolate note for this. Made me think of a Frosty. You're right. It is actually really on that. It reminds me of the uh, pieces that you get in some blizzards. Like, almost like chocolate ice cream with chocolate brownie chunks in it. Yeah. So, this is, a, it's simple. This is a sherry bomb. <laughs> it's all about the cast. For sure. It's all uh, about the cast. Yeah. Uh, the Buna Heaven's coming from the ride. <laughs> yeah. The, the Buna is... In fact, truth be told, the water's really hiding the Buna and letting the yeah. cask do its thing. Right. Great cask. Sorry, Buna. You, you really do need some age. I think really Buna... Buna's a subtle whiskey, man. Yeah, but we've always it kind is. of... It's a subtle We've profile. always found Buna a little 
too aggressive, a little unpleasant at younger ages. That's why we kept thinking that that 2022 was probably 18 to 20 year old whiskey, masquerading as a 12 year. Mm-hmm. Um, this is this is really what a Buna 12 really probably should taste like. Um, a really good cask, better than like the 2021 and the 2023 casks for sure. The Buna malt is still a little youthful. I think Boone is one of those few distilleries that it really actually has to get to 18 years before it really starts hitting its stride. There are so many different types of chocolate. There is like Nesquik cocoa in here meets fudge cake meets a frosty. I mean, there are like four layers of chocolate with this. There's thing. a little bit of Swiss Miss cocoa powder for your hot chocolate oh, in there. Oh, my goodness. Definitely. This just needs a marshmallow inside of it. A little mini marshmallow thrown on the top I of this. I wouldn't be against doing that, Mike. <laughs> wow. You, I could pour honey on this, you know what I mean, almost. It, it is that. It's just a straightforward, blunt hammer of experience. But that hammer is chocolates, chocolates and fudges. Yeah. Boone so is, decadent. Boone is still getting off a little bit of... Um, At this point, I couldn't tell the story. Oh, no, I couldn't either. But the, the, the malt is giving off a little bit of bitterness, um, hint of chalkiness, but still I've, I've watered it down enough where... I'm like, what's going on here, man? It's just... It's a really fun, punchy whiskey... Kind of reminds me a little bit of like that PX Springbank tin in the sense that it's just kind of fun to drink because of the intensity of PX. But, you know, it's it's probably not showcasing the distillery. It's not showcasing the malt. And it's definitely not an excellent whiskey, but it's just fun. It is. All right, Dustin, whiskey score time on this PX punchy Buna? Yeah. <laughs> it says Buna on the bottle. Yeah. Couldn't have guessed it. It's high alcohol PX, Sherry. That's what it really is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right, Dustin, you know what I'm going to say? Let me go first. Yeah, go ahead. This is an 88. This is a fun whiskey. Bought it for $70 for a 20 CL bottle. It's rough. It's unrefined. But with some water in this thing, and we always appreciate whiskeys that can take water. We do. Fun whiskey, 88. 86 for me, Mike? Mm, you're probably right. And I agree with everything you said there. You just reviewed an 86 to me. Um, <laughs> but I, again, this is a fun whiskey. I like it. Um, but this doesn't have, for example, like that uh, PX Springbank did have some peat notes that came through, some mint. This really could use a little something extra to kind of get, push it up. But it's fun. I like it. Um, yeah, what you paid for, I, I think it was actually, I thought it was less than that even. But I, it, I have to trans. It's, yeah. well, yeah. it's, it's 59 Pound euro. conversion right? and all that. And the shipping. Two, six, just, one. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But... It's math. But then you take away that, it just gets all confusing. <clears throat> Bottom does. line, this was a really nice uh, sherry bomb. If you're somebody who likes something like an Abuna, and you still like some of the youngish Abunas coming out now. You'll never find this. I, I think they actually still might even have these available someplace. I think you have to buy the big bottle for 200 bucks, though. You can't just get the little ones. Yeah. It's fun whiskey. If you like, yeah, if you like sherry bombs, go for yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, let me, let me put it this way. I would rather have this than the 2023 Abuna 12 Castro. I still think the Boone the 12 cast is a little bit better whiskey, but this is more fun, so I'm, I'm torn. Yeah, it's on right. par. It's on par. Yeah. Anyway, those are our thoughts on this particular whiskey. If you guys had a chance to try this hand-filled Warehouse 9 cast number 1635, 12-year-old 12, 12 PX, but from 5, 16, and 19, I'd like to know what you guys think. I already know what you think. That's a big <laughs> PX, just absolute cast drink, yeah. slap in the face. And that was fun, Dustin. You cannot avoid the punch to the face. Nope. That's all right. Take it. Those are our thoughts on the whiskey. If you guys had a chance to try this, let us know what you guys think. Dustin, until next time, what do we wish the folks? Happy big, sticky PX drinking. See you then.